pie. Everyone loves it. We're out high farming. Everyone hates it. Welcome or welcome back to a brand new video, my cuties. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get rich quick in Royal High. Now, my farming routine may not work for all of you, but it works for me and some of my friends. So without further ado, let's get right into it. to my farming routine is to fill up all of my moves that are located at the top of your screen or if you press this little note with the exclamation point it'll take you here and you just go back one page and it'll show you all your self-care needs <laughs> sometimes it's okay to cry all the time you're beautiful and set out you have three moves to fill hunger hygiene and energy all in different locations so the first mood is in, well, where we are, which I forget the name of this place every time, but you know, where you spawn, uh, you're going to either go to the vending machines up here or the vending machines down here, these vending machines. So I only buy a couple of things from the two vending machines. I go back and forth and I do it four times because each food and each drink gives you I think 5% if I'm not wrong. No, I buy five. No, am I tripping? I think I'm tripping. So the food that I buy is the Prince and pr the Prince Strawberry Crisp Rice Bar and the Prince Chocolate Caroline Nougat Bar. I buy one, I fly to the other one and I do this about four or five times to get my food to fill up my hunger. Once you've bought all of your um, nougat bars, I think they're all nougat bars, maybe they're diamonds, you're going to want to repeatedly press one, two, three, four, and click if you're on PC, if you're on mobile, same thing, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna equip all your things by pressing the screen and just repeatedly keep eating them. So I'm gonna speed up this part. <laughs> Okay, and now your hunger mood is up. Depending on what multipliers you have, you may get a lot of diamonds and a lot of XP, or a little bit of diamonds and a little bit of XP. As you can see, I got 1800 diamonds and I leveled up to level 1128. So, that is also really helpful for leveling up and getting diamonds. Once you spawned in the bathing quarters, you're going to want to make a left over to the showers and changing area. Go down these two flights of stairs and pick any of the showers that have, still have the blue light. You can open the door, turn that on. You can also turn the light on if you want. And you're gonna stay in here until your hygiene is at 100%. I'm going to speed up this as well so you can see if I get any levels or diamonds. <laughs> Once your hygiene is at 100%, you can then leave the shower area, walk up these stairs, and then the next mood we're going to feel is energy. So you're going to go into the dormitories, and then you're going to want to choose a dorm, not not the dorm, but choose a dorm that's um, still sparkly. Let me in, please. Thank you. And then you're going to want to get into your bed and sleep. I'm going to speed this up too. Once your energy has reached 100%, you can get out of the bed and then we can move on to the next step. The second step in the farming routine is to do your dailies, which includes logging into your computer, going to your locker and playing the um, tidy, whatever it's called, uh, spinning the wheel and wishing at the fountain. Since I'm already in the dormitories, I can log into my computer and I can do that daily right now. Once I've done that, I can leave and then you can go 
to the castle cart and spin the wheel and play the tiny textbooks. Once you've arrived back in the castle cart, you can go up to a locker, type in your code, and play the locker game. I'm going to speed this up. Once you finish that, you can cash out your XP, and then you can go down here, and you can spin the wheel. Go to press spin, you can choose either prize wave, I'm going to go for prize wave 1 because I don't believe I've gotten everything out of it. I'm going to wait for it to finish spinning, and see what you get. Hopefully, it's not dead. Okay, looks like I got 200 diamonds. I'm glad I got diamonds. I love diamonds. Diamonds are awesome. And the next thing you can go do, and the last thing, is go to the front of the castle and wish at the fountain. Now that we are at the front of the castle, my resolution may be off because I have to open Google for the Halo answers. Because Tidal Glow is not over yet. So, as the waters curl, magic once again swirls. You're going to make a wish. The majestic music, which is always great. Make a wish. Open your eyes and look at the gorgeous colors around you and the beautiful fountain lady. I love her. Remember your heart's desires. No, your heart's desires. <laughs> Under the searing tidal air to the ever mysterious fountain and rays of glistening sunlight reflect from your person. Before you can continue with your day, you notice a sullen ice fairy standing by the shimmering fountain, grumbling in a pitiful mixture of anger and sadness as sweat trickles down his complexion. Oh, boo-hoo, whatever shall I do? I hate Tidal Glow. The scout and sunbeams, awfully energetic crowd, and terrible hot water weather are nothing to look forward to for an ice fairy like myself. Won't someone enlighten me on what makes this season so magical to everyone else but I? Although bystanders merely really give, gave him odd looks of disapproval, he felt an urge to keep down to help the sulking ice fairy to sing the brighter side of the sunny season. In an effort to show him the beauty of Hydro Glow, you invite the ice fairy to partake in a day of... And now we have our choices, and my story is by Ririka, no, Ririka and Bonnie Peacekeeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this tab open, and I'm going to scroll... Oh, well, it's the first one. So the answer to this story is C. Eating ice cream from the stalls of the dorms. Surely an ice fairy would enjoy ice cream in the sunny season. You invite him to the ice cream stalls and he delightfully agrees. When you arrive at the dormitories, you start browsing the stalls one by one, hoping something will pique the ice fairy's interest. At the first stall, he whines about the flavor selection. These options are so mediocre. I can get these flavors any time of the year. You look and fill him away before you start the fight with the shopkeeper. This behavior continues for the rest of the trip, altering between his disapproval of the ice cream flavors and groaning about Tidal Glow, Glow as a whole. By the time he sees all the stalls, even the ice fairy leaves empty-handed. There's nothing special about Tidal Glow at all. What an overrated season. He complains, walking away and completely forgetting about you at the dormitory entrance. The only thing you gain or lose from this experience is a lingering sense of regret as you watch him fly off into the sunset. Well, I got nothing. So. Yay! <laughs> And the very last thing we are going to not fall into the fountain water. The thing we're going to do is to look at our tasks. Tasks. Hello. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our diary planner. And you should have your quest tab already open if you had went back and looked at your self-care needs, which is my buyer quests. For me, I have three quests to do. And they always change when I do a different one. So I'm going to do a couple of quests until my moods run out. I'll play some music and I'll speed this part up.
is it for the farming routine. If this helped you guys, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell button so you never miss one of my YouTube videos. I love you all so much. Bye! Mwah. Thank you.